Hi guys, welcome back. So now it is baseline time. Juicy. So the track's sounding okay. We've got drums, we've got a melody sound in there. We've got no bass line at the moment. So let's do that now. So there's many, many VST synthesizers in Logic. We're going to use one called the Retro Synth. So we're going to keep this simple. And you can learn a little bit about synthesis as well. And we want to keep this bass line simple as well because we've got some plucky elements in this track and lots of other things to come, vocals, guitars. They've all got, especially the guitar, got quite a, a tacky sort of sound. So we're going to keep the bass line more simplistic and more in the background. So let's add a new track. Press the plus button, software instrument, create. Now it loads up on the left hand side under the library tab as default because there's many things you can choose from here and a lot of the sort of presets and decisions are made for you. So if you were to choose one of these instruments on the left hand side, it comes with loads and loads of plugins and stuff already made for you. Now I don't want to do that. You can see that classic electric piano has automatically been loaded for us even though I didn't even want that. But that's okay, we can just turn off the library by using the left hand button at the top. And we can change this plugin here by coming over to where it says electric piano, hitting the arrow key, and you can turn it off by doing no plugin. Or you can choose in the loaded plugins that come with Logic down here, and we're going to choose retro synth and stereo. And we're just going to switch off these buses that Logic has already created for us. So we'll come to the down arrow, no send, same on this one. No send. Just going to check there's no EQ on there. No, there's no EQ, that's fine. So this is the retro synth which we're going to make the bass line out of. Best thing for me to do is, I'll, I will explain all this in a second, but let's get some MIDI information in here so we can sort of start triggering notes and see how the sound is shaping as I move these parameters and knobs around. Otherwise it's not going to mean very much unless you can hear something. So first of all, let's just bring the track down, call this bass, and let's copy for to make it easier the MIDI from the pluck instrument. So option, drag down, and just close that synth for the moment. Just need to sort out the MIDI here. So we'll double click it, and obviously we just want the lower note of the three. So let's just go to the left hand side. And go back to bar five. Here, right here. So here we are. In fact, let's, let's zoom out a little bit. Now, our bass notes are actually the ones in the middle. So we want B. Because if you remember, we uh, changed the voicing on the pluck a little bit. Definitely want to keep B. We want the second note to be A. That one there. So we'll delete the other two and E. So B, A, E is our main, yeah, B, A, E is our main kind of bass line here, our bass notes, if you like. Now, forget the sound at the moment. We will be changing the sound, obviously, to make it sound like a bass line. So let's just keep it, keep it very, very simple at the moment. I like them all, make them a bit longer. Drag the right hand side, zoom in a touch. So that's our MIDI sorted in a quick way. We may come back to this later on, but let's get the sound sorted now. Turn it down a touch. Right, let's load up bass. So click on bass, the mixer slider icon to bring up the actual instrument itself. Let's start having a look through this bass plugin. So first of all, there are many different options here. We've got analog, sync, table, and FM. So this is all way beyond the scope of this course. But we're going to keep it on analog. We're on an analog style baseline. But just letting you know, there's plenty more options available in this plugin. And in an analog synthesizer, your sounds are created by oscillators. And we've got two of them. We've got one here and one here. 
we can mix between the two oscillators here. And we've got different waveforms, different shapes. So let's just demonstrate. Let's just put it on oscillator one for a second. So mix up to oscillator one, 100%. And we can choose like noise, saw wave, square wave, and then you can adjust it up to a pulse wave. Let's just have a little listen. So noise. Saw wave. Just turn this down a bit. So square wave. And then adjusting up to a pulse wave. And of course you can then blend in oscillator two with maybe a slightly different sound. So oscillator two comes with a slightly different option here without the noise. So it's up to you what you choose here. Obviously, as I always say, you always need to come in and mess around yourself to get to know what all these buttons do. But after you've chosen the type of shape you want, the type of timbre, tone you want, you can adjust you know, sense up and down, so the pitch up and down, if you want to maybe detune one of them slightly. You've got vibrato, you can shape the sound with these various other things we've got here, so the amplitude envelope. So let's say you wanted a, a pad sound, you would bring the attack over, so the sound increases over time, it's not immediate. Where if you bring the attack up, obviously it's immediate and you can adjust the release so it's, it tails off, you know, a lot longer. You can now hear that the notes are overlapping. You can also mess around with the filter envelope. So this means adjusting the frequency like here, for example. So here we're a low pass filter you know what that is now we're taking off the top end but that's me doing it manually if I want this to happen automatically I can set the filter envelope so the sound comes in gently not volume that's this one here the filter comes in gently just have to adjust the amount here So you can hear that coming in gently as in the filter. You can have a more plucky sound if you make these, um, both of these shorter. So we'll be coming on to this in a second um, by shaping the sound that we want. Just giving you a quick overview. Overall volume, you've got effects like adding flange. You've got a glide, so if you want the notes to glide up or glide down. And you can start affecting the sound with LFOs, which is a low frequency oscillator. Adjusting the LFO here, and then just turning it up here. Uh, that's not what we want, but I'm just showing you that it's there. We've got vibrato as well, similar kind of thing. So let's continue with the bass sound that we want for this track. And don't forget, we're going to make this quite a simple sound. And the reason we're making it a simple sound is, like I said before, we've got some other plucky elements in the track, and we don't want the bass to be centre stage. If this was a banging EDM track, then you may want the bass to be a lot more prominent in the mix, whereas this track we don't. So we could have a combination of square and saw, or triangle. Let's just have a listen. Okay, so I think we're going to go for a couple of couple of square waves mixed together. But let's detune the second one so the second oscillator is not exactly the same. Let's detune this 12 semitone so it's this oscillator is an octave below this one. We'll keep the mix 50/50 at the moment. Yeah. 
in the middle there. Let's have a look at our cutoff. It's just a little bit bright and nasty sounding. So let's just reduce the top end. I think we'll just mess around with our filter envelopes to get this right and the amp envelope. Let's add a little bit of attack on the volume of the sound. Just reduce the amount of the filter being sent to the cutoff by this knob here. We've also got some different filters in here, so we could try low pass edgy, you can also do high pass, band pass. All going to change the sound quite dramatically, so have a play around yourself, try and get the sound that you want. can't quite decide. I think I might have this top one on uh, Solway. It really doesn't matter too much. So let's get the volume right and then we'll add a little bit of reverb. So click on bass, go to sends, Plus one. And let's put these notes down a little bit. I think they're going to work better. So highlight them all. Shift option and down. Let's give this a try on a lower octave. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's put it in the mix. Just without the bass line. with now sounds quite flat without the baseline doesn't it so okay that's a very 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 simplistic baseline but that's good enough for us for this track and like i say if synthesis is completely new to you then come in and have a play around with this this is a very sort of basic synthesizer but come and have a play around with this maybe have a look at these other options as well so it's all about the oscillators creating the sound in the first place and the style, the timbre, the tone by choosing the shape. Then you can affect the sound by using amplitude envelopes, filter envelopes. You can then apply some of these things here to the cutoff here. So the sound evolves over time and gets a bit more interesting. You've got different types of filters and all sorts of things you can do, flanger, LFOs. So come and have a play with that. So in the next lesson, we're going to be looking at low end mixing. And obviously we'll start learning how to record and mix vocals, record and mix guitars, and just fill this track out. So there's many, many more tracks going to go into this song and really fill it out. So we've got a full professional mix. You've come to the end of the free ones, unfortunately, on uh, YouTube. So feel free to click the link below this video to have a look at the full course and see what, what else you're going to learn here. You're basically going to make this track. So there's plenty more to put into this track yet, as you can hear. I really hope you join us on the course. If not, I hope these five lessons have been really, really useful for you and wish you all the best. 
and don't forget to check out borntoproduce.com we have many 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 tutorials and videos on there or different doors so i'll see you in the next one guys all the best bye bye change to shade my skin and crystallize open my eyes and read